Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 53. Verse 3. Isaiah chapter 53. Verse 3. He is despised, rejected of men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our face from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Laka Kodash, the water Yah, Bahashim, Yahusha, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, deserved of honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word in sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. What is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifting up the hopeful elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Yeah. Uh, just going over some scriptures, you know. Uh, you know, you know, uh, quenching my spirit. And um, I came upon this this verse right here, a couple of verses in this chapter. And this is about Yahweh Shah all the way. And they say, oh, Yahweh Shah is, you know, they even call him Jesus. Jesus is not mentioned in the Old Testament. There's plenty of places he's mentioned in the Old Testament. And, and scriptures link up. You know, and this man that was despised was Yahweh Shah, and Isaiah prophesied this for before it happened. Before it happened, he was despised during the time of the Romans. By who he was despised by his own people. Okay, and even Pontius Pilate knew, and and knew this man was not to be not to be slain, but. You know, him being the Edomite, he did it anyway. All right. So let me read a couple more verses. Surely, verse 4, surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. <laughs> and carried our sorrows. That's your how shy all the way. He carried he 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 carried that cross from I don't. I, I was. I was looking. I think it was like two miles or something like that. I wasn't. I'm not really sure, but I was looking it up. Um, but he carried that for a long way, and he had help from someone. You know, they speak about that in the scriptures. But we were supposed to honor that man, cherish that man. That's our king. Okay. And y'all didn't, you fucking two thirds. You, you, I can imagine y'all back then because y'all trying to do to us now. Y'all don't honor the men of righteousness. Y'all honor the men of wickedness. Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Man, we, yo, to the spirit of y'all, y'all was not right back then and y'all ain't right now. He two thirds, but he was wounded for our transgression. Yes, for all of our transgression, for you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace were upon him, and with his stripes, stripes, with his stripes, we were healed. Correct. I got a verse right here that proved that um, Pontius Pilate knew that that was not a good thing to do. All right, because you got them, you damn two thirds, you two thirds back then. All right, yep. No, um, 
You damn fucking you, you priests now, you um you pastors and you got them fucking reverends up in these damn churches. Y'all the ones that crew that um gave up our Lord, our King. Y'all did it. Okay? Okay, y'all trying to y'all gonna give us up now to it. It's our turn to go through this. This ordeal that's to come. What we gotta go same as the king, so as so as um his so as um his followers. Alright. Alright, I got this is um this is John chapter 19, verse 7, verse 5. Then came Shah forth wearing the crown of thorns and purple robe. And Pilate said unto him, unto them, Behold the man. When they, when the chief priest, therefore, when the, when the chief priest, priest, Therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him, Pilate. Say, say upon them, said, said unto them, Take ye him and, car and crucify him. For I, for, for I find no fault in him. The Pilate said he didn't find no fault in him. You, 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 you fucking, you, you, you the same ones as doing it now. You gonna say crucify us, crucify us. In the name, what, what it says in the scriptures, it says, um, they hated you for, for my name's sake. That was that Matthews. Let's see if I can find that. Let's see. Lock it. Let me see if I can find that scripture. It's a couple of those things. Uh, ah, here we go. This is Matthew's chapter 10, verse 22. Verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endured to the end shall be saved. Just like Yahweh Shah endured to the end. We shall we if we endure to the end we're gonna be saved. That this Yahweh Shemesh Shah is gonna save us. But when the when they prosecute you in the city, flee ye into another city. Flee ye flee ye into another. For very I say unto you, ye should ye should not have gone over the city of Israel till the Son of Man become. Until he get back, we're gonna go into the land of Israel. We're gonna get our land back. But right now we 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 are we are still in captivity. So the point is that we are, we're gonna be crucified, we're gonna be ran down on, we're gonna be just we're gonna be um um falsely accused or wrong by these other nations because of us worshiping Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. Okay? They're gonna wanna crucify us, the same fucking motherfucker that did it to Yahweh Shah then. Okay? Pilate, let's read this again. All right, um, this is John chapter 19, verse 6. When the chief priests, therefore, and off, therefore the and officers saw him, they cried out, you damn, you damn, you the niggas back then, you the same nigga crying out, oh, get him, get him, I hate him. You hate the truth. Saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Pilate didn't he didn't say, Yo, this man like he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. And when Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was more than afraid. Yeah, yeah, but Pilate was afraid of of of, um, of Yahweh Shah. He was like, wait a minute, this man right here ain't do nothing, and we gotta kill this man. He found some type of justice. He he thought of some justice, even though he was Pilate, he was a damn Edomite, but he still in that. I didn't you damn two thirds, you two third priest back then. You're the same two thirds motherfuckers now. All right. Verse nine, and went again unto. The judgment hall and said unto Yahweh Shah, Whence art thou? 
But Yahweh Shah gave him no answer. You see, our king didn't even open his mouth to him. And that's what the scriptures is going into right here. Alright? We're going to go back into Isaiah. Okay? In verse 6. Isaiah chapter 50. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. And all we... And all... I mean, all we like sheep have gone astray. Yes. But we, the, the, our shepherd is calling us back. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has led. And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, has laid on him the iniquities of all of, of us all. Right, he was oppressed. That's right. You see what happened? You see what his own people ran down on him. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. See, he didn't. He, yo, they they was talking bad about him. They slandered him, and it, you know it was his time. That was his time. He had to go through that. Our king had to go through that. So we're gonna go same. Um. Um. Mm. Think about the scripture. I can't really offhand think of uh, what it is. Um, Salakia. Let me go back. He was oppressed. Verse. This is fifty. This is Isaiah fifty-three, verse seven. He was oppressed. He was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. This is in this is in Isaiah. This is talking about Yahweh Shah. See, everything is written of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Alright, Yahweh, the book is a volume of him. The book is written of him. It's you people that, that can't 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 stand it. You can't stand it, Yahweh Shemuel Shah, and who 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 he's become, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and you you nigga bitches out there too. Yeah yeah hate yeah hate yeah hate your own kind. Yeah hate yeah hate Yahweh Shah, but you love this goddamn Edomite. All right, Hebrews chapter ten, verse seven. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do the will, to do the will, O power, to do thy will, O power. Yahweh Shah did the will of Yahweh. Yahweh Shah did the will of Yahweh. So we got to do the will of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. All right. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb. Here's the clue. He was, I mean, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as the sheep before his snarer, sh sh snarer is done, dumb. So be open, so he opened not his mouth. And that's how sheep are too. Sheep don't open, they don't, they, 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 whatever's about to happen to them, they can deal with it like a, like a, like a honorable, um, um, animal, you know? But Yahweh Shah deal with it as an honorable man. He was taken from prisoner, prisoner, prison for judgment and from judgment. He was, and who shall declare his generation? We we gonna declare. We gonna go. We gonna stand up for Yahweh Shah. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. Yeah, they, they, they slaughtered our king. And you damn two thirds helped them. And you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, come. We, we wanna be we want honorable living. We want we wanna be we wanna be honored. We want an honorable we want an honorable crown. He's up there ready to give us crowns. He got no crowns. Just, the crowns are sitting in wherever they're sitting in. Whatever them crowns. I don't know how they're going to come out. How they're going to appear in his hand and put on out. I'll brought the sock in one of those crowns. All right. 
Um, for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people. Was he stricken? That's right. He was he. The Wadi Yahweh Shem Shah, the Wadi the Wadi Yahweh Shem Shah for sending Yahweh Shah, and the Wadi Yahweh Shem Shah for getting those apostles, preparing us for what is what is to come. He was made. He was made, and he made his grief with the wicked. He made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. He did not, not one that proved that Yahweh was pure. All right. Yet it pleased the Lord. This is another key point. It pleased the Lord. Yet this is the this is this is Isaiah prophesying of the king. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, for our sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. He, I mean, and the pleasure of the Lord shall pro pro prosper in his in his hand. Everything, everything is put in Yahweh Shah's hand. All right. He shall see of the travail of the travail. Of the of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my my righteous servant justify many yeah he justified us that many is us for he shall bear their iniquities he get he got a, he, our iniquity all things we've done wrong sin upon sin y'all shot it's covered it with his blood therefore we therefore will I divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong he's gonna give us he's he gonna he go, he, he's up in the heavens and he's ready to come back by Yahweh and he's gonna give us our crowns and land and whatever else whatever else that comes with the riches because he has poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors, transgressors. And he bare the sins of many, and made an intercession, intercession for their for the transgressors. That's us. He made he he, he did that for us. Okay. He did that. For, Yabashim Hashem Al Shah Bashim. The Wadi Yabashim Al Shah for giving us the giving us this glorious kingdom that's to come. The Wadi Yabashim Al Shah for um for giving us our king. For giving us a to 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 having to having that much mercy, to having that to have Kasai Yabashim Al Shah for giving us all these glorious things as a come. And um yeah, that was you know that's your Hawa Shah in, in the old testament. So you know, I just wanted to bring that out, and yeah, through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, we we we're gonna have we're gonna have everything, all because of Yahweh Shah, and and Yahweh sending Yahweh Shah. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shah, the Wadi Yahweh Shah, Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, deserve double honors. Shalom to the Akiah. Shalom.